Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today we're going to learn something called the while loop. Now, while loop is basically a loop, and a loop is basically performing a particular task multiple times. But now we would alter this definition a little bit, if you may. In programming, you can define a loop as performing a particular task multiple times until the condition is true, while the condition is true. Now, there are many types of loop in programming, and uh, let me just mention them all for loop, do while, and the while. Actually, there are only three of them that we're going to use in this tutorial anyway. So, do you want to learn the while loop? Now, while loop consists of specifying the condition, and until the condition is true, it would do the task. So, I'm just going to give you the syntax. And, uh, well, it's written in the following way like this. This is the format or the syntax, whatever you want to call it inside these brackets you specify the condition alright what until the con while the condition is true it would perform these statements inside these brackets it's really that simple now before I get into that I would really like to explain you something called the increment operator now there are increment operators which are used to increment the value of the variable by one well I'm gonna give you an example let's say I want a variable i alright to which I've assigned the value 5. Let's say that I want to say that I want to increase the value of i by 1. What should I do? I just type in this i plus plus. That means whenever this statement will get executed, the value of i would be 6. How? Now, this thing consists of it's basically the same as this thing the value of i plus 1. So if the value of i is 5, then it would be 6. Uh, if I run it again, then it would be 7. Depends where you are going to use it. So we're going to use this thing in the loop. Alright, today, in the while loop. Alright, but there again, there are two types of increment operator, which is the postfix, prefix, this one, and this is the postfix. We're just going to use the postfix and the prefix, I will explain to you in the for loop tutorial that would be conducted like two days later. Alright, let's say I am going to show you a really brief example of while loop. So let's say I've got the while over here, sorry for that, and the conditions over here. I can specify multiple conditions, obviously, which we will learn in the future. This is just going to be a brief tutorial explaining the needs and the use of while loop. So let's say I'm going to specify the condition that until i is not 10, perform these statements. Alright, so you write the condition like this. Sorry for that. Uh, is equal to 10. So there you go. While i is not, this is the not operator. So I'm saying that while i is not equal to 10, perform these tasks. I'm just going to type in a message as I always do. Uh, Mr. White from Breaking Bad. All right. So it's going to print Mr. White until i is not equal to 10. Now the thing is, i is not equal to 10 and it would never be equal to 10 because it's 5, right? So it's going to, not going to be 10. So what would happen if the condition over here would never be satisfied? Means never is satisfied, right? So let's see if I run this, it would do the following thing. This is called as an infinite loop. It would do the statements, it would execute the statements infinite times obviously that's what that's why it's called infinite loop why because as you can plainly see I never became 10 so it's gonna do this until I is 10 right and I is never 10 in the program so voila infinite loop is there so in order to satisfy the condition I need to use the increment operator now the increment operator is doing the following job since the value of I is 5 right whenever it enters in the loop first it would check the condition if the condition is well just gonna check it and then it would go into the statements and it would do the job alright then the next statement would be executed which is the increment operator so now the value of 5 would be 6 right because it's been incremented by 1 so 5 plus 1 6 it would go up again check the condition is 5, well, it would be 6. 6 not equal to 10, right? It's not equal to 10. Then it would perform this task. And it would perform it 5 times 
and until the value of i is 10 right so if now i run the program you will see that it prints mr white mr white mr white mr white mr white basically mr white five times why since the value of 5 value of i is 5 it's going to be five times executed because well it's five plus five ten so until the statement is true it would execute whatever is inside there right so if ten is not equal to ten well ten is equal to ten right so whenever the i's value becomes ten it would stop the loop and it would exit out of the loop it's that simple now many of you may were thinking that I'm just using printf and addition of two numbers and all that crap but the thing is programming is much more than this I'm just gonna explain you right now the brief the concepts basically to clear your concepts of the statements and the loops and whatever the, the features of programming basically we would have really advanced in well like 50 tutorials would be your programming in C and once we have completed these tutorials we will go really advanced these are just the features that you're learning right now so if you're thinking that programming is just by adding of two numbers multiplying dividing and printing a message on the screen you're completely wrong and I will prove you wrong in just a matter of weeks so anyway this has been a channel of the chaos I hope you like this video rate comment and subscribe thank you very much